All right, people, I got another quarantine video coming to you here. Um, admittedly, this is kind of a niche video, but um, something that I think would have been helpful for me when I was deciding between these pedals. And um, hopefully it'll be useful to you. I got a Mood um, from Chase Bliss and a Count to Five. Um, they're both kind of weird little loopers. Um, I've been using the Count to Five for... Um, years now. I had a really early one that uh, I had to send back to get repaired and have a new edition here. And then I got the mood to cover a gap on a tour when the count to five was in the shop. So I just wanted to go through them, talk about some of the similarities and differences and why you might prefer one over the other. Um, I'm not going to do a full demo of these because there's a million demos of each of them online you can get the idea um, but here's what I do with them so I use these in a pretty tame uh, potentially you might say boring way um, they mostly get used for me in kind of a singer-songwriter or indie rock setting that's a lot of what I play it's a lot of people who are singers and have tunes that um, are still kind of roots based but might need some more noise or just a space aspect to what it is that they do. These are both really good at creating textures. Let me start with what I do with the count to five. Um, now, what I do is I use it in mode two or mode three, typically mode two. I don't have an expression pedal hooked up right now, but you can also do that, which is, uh, which is fun. So typical situation for me to be using this pedal would be, say, in the intro to a song. So making a little bed of uh, sound for the singer to then come in on whenever, whenever they're ready. So I might play something like this. Okay, so what the count to five is doing there is it's taking a snippet of what I played um, and uh, it's playing back a shorter bit of that. The window is shortened and it's moving around randomly and then it is reversed. So this does the reverse, this does the length, this does the uh, randomness. Now I have this quantized to be in fifths and octaves, which I find the most useful given that I'm usually in pretty diatonic settings. So um, you can move that stuff around as long as you're a uh, little bit careful about what notes within the scale you play. Let me give you an example of that. Okay, you get the idea, and you can set that up to be an expression pedal. I find that to be the most useful mode as far as quantizing um, for my situation. Now, um, one of the great things about the count to five, you hold down that button to start recording the loop. Uh, what I love about it is that you don't have to stop playing the loop that you're playing currently in order to record a new one. So say we have a big intro, and then we need to break it down for the next section. That also happens a lot. So here we go like this. Okay, you get the idea. So what's cool about that is you can set up the next section um, without having to stop the loop. So it's pretty seamless. Um, now, the mood can cover some similar ground. Um, it doesn't quite have the randomness function 
Um, you can get some randomness in it, which I'll show you, but it's not quite the same. And I think the trick with this looping stuff on the material that I'm playing is to have it be organic um, while still having some of that glitch and soundscape aspect. Um, so let me show you what, I, what you can do with the mood. Now, the great thing about the mood is that it has this other side, the left side, which you can do delay with and reverb. I have it as a kind of an infinite reverb. So I used to use a freeze pedal with the count to five, um, and this, the mood could kind of take the place of both of them. But let me show you a similar thing with the mood. Okay, so you get the idea. I kind of uh, started playing some chords as if I was a singer coming in. Now, where you can get some um, movement in the mood, so that mode there, I should say, you can move it up and down in fifths and reverse, similar to the count to five, but it doesn't have that randomness component, which, oddly enough, I think makes it feel a little less robotic. Now, you can get that with this envelope mode. Um, and this is pretty cool because it really it reacts to your playing, which the count to five doesn't do. So let me play that and I'll show you this envelope mode. So you can set that to um, basically be repeating a shorter part of the loop when you hit um, a note that gets up to whatever envelope you set it at. That's really cool. Um, and that gives it some of that movement uh, that the count to five kind of just introduces randomly. Now, the other thing I'll say with the mood is that you can set this for an infinite reverb and set it to have uh, trails and hit some notes over the top and then turn it off and keep playing. So uh, let, me sh let me show you that here. Okay, so you get the idea there. Again, that's really cool because you can do that, like I said, in an intro, ambient part. You can also do that in a solo uh, if you're playing. Sorry to play a solo with no band, but just uh, to demonstrate. <laughs> Okay, so you get the idea there. You can really emphasize a high note. Um, get something to hold over. It can be pretty exciting. So I could ramble about this all day. Point being, you got a couple different options. These pedals can be used in ways that are really um, comfortable and non-offensive. And um, it's just a quick overview of what I do with them. So if you're looking, I would say the mood potentially more options in the sense of you have that reverb so you can add that onto an existing reverb that you have. I'm running a hall reverb and some echo right now. And that envelope mode is really cool and you can get the reverse loops. Um, the mood also has a cool thing which is that 
you don't press it to record. You just press it when you're ready to play back, and it plays back uh, what you just played. It's like an always always listening looper, which is which is really cool. One of the downsides about the mood in these situations relative to the count to five is that you have to stop the loop that you're playing in order to get a new loop going. Now, if there's a setting that changes that that I'm not aware of, um, I apologize, but from what I understand, that's the only way to do it. So that can be a little awkward in the sense of you have to put this break in the music, which uh, you're going to have to time properly. So I do think that's another area where the count to five comes out ahead for my purposes. The count to five, uh, personally, I think I prefer. I know more of the tricks with it, and it is, to my ear, it's a little bit more human and there's a controlled randomness to it which is kind of what I'm looking for. Now I'm really excited to try the Chase Bliss blooper which I think is going to combine some of the features of both these pedals that I like and one day when we get back to normal in life and we have some gigs again I'll, I'll pick one of those up. Um, yeah and you can also use them together. I used them together on a tour um, and uh, I'm going to play a little bit on the way out using both of them. Okay, here we go. Thanks for watching. Bye.